Hi, yes, hello. Uh, I know you've seen the title. I know a lot of you are going to fast forward to go see our new house. That's fine, live your life. But for those of you that maybe know us a little better, been following me or Julian for a while now, a lot of you have correctly guessed what we have been alluding to, is that we did, in fact, buy a house. I do just want to say a couple things about this for those of you that know us. Like, this is something that I have been saving for, like, since any of you have known me and like I do have a little bit of like nice things guilt like I I, I, I want to tell you how much like I've saved for so long to have a house and you know we don't <laughs> I don't like have nice clothes or I'd say the, the biggest thing we spend our money on is like food <laughs> we had a lot of help getting to this point where we could save our money to buy a really beautiful home for us to live in for the foreseeable future like I don't really even see this as a starter home and that was kind of my goal was to find a place that where we could live and grow in for many years to come and you know it did take a while to get to that point but we did it in a way that was responsible and uh, it's it's just like to me the house is a gigantic responsibility and I'm like really excited to take that on but like it's not lost on me what owning a home means and I feel like when people do like I bought a house it's all like look at my house isn't it beautiful but to me I'm terrified the whole time I'm terrified of everything for those of you who follow us closely you know that you know this has been a goal of ours for some time now and for a long time now and even more recently it's my only goal <laughs> it is super exciting and it's a big deal for us that we're now homeowners together and <laughs> the process was a lot and it will continue to be a lot. There's a lot of things that come along with owning a home. But I also hope you know that we wanted to tell you after every, we had closed on the house, like there's reasons why we didn't tell you. It's not like we weren't trying to keep a secret from you or anything. Um, but when we show you the new house, you know, I'm not gonna show you things like the, the outside or the front. And again, I hope you know it's because, you know, we've had security issues in the past and it's not because we don't wanna show you. It's just like, we're, we just we're not gonna show you some stuff you know what I mean I hope you're okay with that it's a culmination of many years of planning and hard work and saving and it, it takes a lot to buy a home you know responsibly and make sure we budget our money for the future so we can continue to live there uh, it's completely terrifying <laughs> Like, I hope you know when you see all the nice things at our house, that to me, I don't see that. I just see, like, a terrifying responsibility. I'm very scared. This represents a lot for our future, and to have this ability to continue to work independently, like on the podcast and our Twitch stream and our radio show, we can continue to have an area at home where we can work, which is a choice. You know, a lot of people sign with companies that do all of these things for them. We have chosen to be... Uh, as independent as possible, which presents a lot of challenges, a lot of time and effort, energy, work, all the things. And that, pressure. And pressure, yeah, to, you know, do all that stuff. And we could rent a studio space, but instead we decided that we really like working at home, so we've actually converted a lot of our house to places we can work Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a good portion of the new house that really isn't a home. It's just kind of <laughs> yeah. like a work area. But that's like, you guys know it's how we choice. spend our time. Yeah, it's so a like, choice. Yeah. I also hope you know that this isn't, I'm not trying to contribute to the online culture of the look at my life and look at my nice things. Like this, this is a, it's a really big deal for us, but you know, we're doing it in a responsible way. I think at this point, us and you showing the house and what in what you're going to show and me showing what I'm going to show and telling you guys that we bought a house together isn't so much as to do anything besides keep you updated and be honest with you because that's what this is. Um, but I agree. It is scary, you know, getting a house and moving into it and showing the internet because you like we're not a part of that culture that shows off all the nice shit that people buy it's like that's not what we do nice things i've been saving my money for years to buy a home so that's that's it that's, that's the secret that's the tea there is no tea we're solely telling you just because we're being honest with you and we don't want to leave you guys in the dark i've saved for a long time and been responsible and this house is a giant responsibility don't come over and make a mess don't don't touch wipe my, your feet don't touch wipe your my feet before you come like in that. <laughs> it's our future though you know this is the home that we're gonna live in 
for a long time. I hope so. Again, hope so I'm too. terrified. I got my tools ready. I'm a handyman and a homeowner now. I can fix things. What? No. You can fix some things, not all things. What? No, you're supposed to. You're supposed to root your husband on. We're not married. But you, I'm the husband who who <laughs> goes around the house with his tools. We're not married, but we are legally bound by a deed. Ooh, a deed. Ooh. <laughs> also, this week in particular, like the movers are coming on Friday to move our furniture. We've moved. You know, I'd say the majority of our stuff over there already, just using my car and a million trips. Um, but I can't show you like a house tour with our furniture in it because it's not currently in it. Um, but I have gotten to the point where I can't film here or there. <laughs> <laughs> They're like both half houses at this point. Yeah. Well, this one, there's nothing in it, basically. But our bed and couch. Yeah. But our new house, you know, there's a. We have a person in, in one of the bedrooms. The previous owner had turned it into a whole closet room. Um, and that room had a extra walk-in closet in it. So it's double closet room. Ooh. So he's in there uh, taking out the closets in that room. And then um, there's also cleaners there right now just to, like, you know, clean the bathrooms. and Because there was someone that owned it before us. But I also wanted to show you because in case we stream this weekend. You're going to notice that we're not in the same room at all. It's like we're just going to just randomly stream out of a new room and not say anything. Guys? For those of you that know me and have followed me for a really long time, like, you know that this is, like, all I've been saving for. Like, to me, this represents my future. And this is the, the, the one thing that I've been working really, 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 really hard for. So I am incredibly proud. Like, I don't want to think about it too much. I will cry. <laughs> but, like, I'm I'm so proud. And I, I hope you guys see that, too. And you don't just see a nice house. You see what it means to us, how large of a responsibility it is, how terrifying it is, and what it means to us. And that this is our, you know, our safe place and our workspace and our studio and like our dog's home. Yeah. Maybe someday we can adopt a racing greyhound. Oh my God, my next dream. Let's show them our current, our current yeah, house. Yeah, well, house. Is lit. No, it's not. It's empty and dirty and dusty and your hair's uneven and you're not that cute. <laughs> I was saying on you, the duck. Most of our stuff is moved out. We've left one chair here so we can take turns eating. I'm always the one who stands. <laughs> but like, you know, it's like, it's kind of nostalgic. That's a podcast table. Only the bass fit in my car, not that. But, uh, you know, it's sad, but it's good. We had prom in here. We did. We had prom in here. And we did my first stand-up comedy show in here. Oh. We, we've we already moved the rug and stuff. Like, this is wild. We're obviously going to have somebody help us you know, fix the walls and stuff, we're gonna leave it like that. Well, I mean, this space has been really great for us, but like, it, we did so much in here. Like, I, I can't believe, like being in it right now, I can't believe we podcasted and straight out of here. It's like the weirdest remember. It is the weirdest remember. Like this is a challenge to work around, like all the doors open like in towards the room, so it makes it like extra hard. Look at this. Look, isn't this so sad? No more doggy room. It's so sad. Oh, you guys' living room. Remember when our RHPC all squeezed in there? They all fit in there. Every single one of them. All right, so in a minute, we'll take you over to the new house. Rome's there? Oh, you want to? Oh, let's prank her. Okay. Let's pretend the whole house is on fire. That's not funny what anymore. No. Oh, <laughs> Give me a hint. Let's do one of those things. There's people here cleaning. I'm sorry for the noise, but this is why we can't film there or here. <laughs> so this is going to be our office because this is obviously like a formal living room, but I don't know about you, but I don't do any formal living. I only do casual living. <laughs> so this is a much better office space for us so the dogs can have a fireplace. Oh, you graduated. Congrats. I don't know about you, but I only bought a house and then think about everything for my dogs. I am a true millennial. And here we will keep a formal dining room. You know, for Christmas or Thanksgiving. That's about it. Probably one of the nicest things about buying a house is like, that has a built-in or you have the ability to make a built-in. Like, oh my God. This is the 
the bougiest thing I've done ever seen in my whole life. It is a closet for your wine. What have we been using it as though? If the dogs are like out and someone comes in, you need them to like be gone for a second. We just, we put them in there real quick. Not for very long, for a second, you know. We put them in there because we're just like, um, fam, why you let me in here? And then the kitchen. Look at J&J's kitchen. J&J's kitchen, y'all. Julian already promised me that you're not going to Aries tornado over the whole kitchen. I won't Aries tornado tonight. No tornado. Oh, in, gen oh, in general? Please. I won't. For the love of God. Can I have my hand back? Promise me. I mean, someday maybe I'll give you like a more in-depth tour if you want it, but like for now this is what we're doing. And this right here. This is the only thing that was on my like list. They were like, what are you looking for in a house? And I was like, a pantry. I just want a pantry. <laughs> this is what you save your money for. It's a pantry. <laughs> so we have like one cabinet and a Lazy Susan right now that <laughs> has food in it. But we'll finally have a place to put like, I don't know, we're vegans. We have lots of like nuts and like granola and stuff that is in jars that just like needs a spot. So. This is going to be the dog feeding area. Um, we learned quickly last night that Marbles refuses to eat off a paper plate because it's too scary. So we have to get him a little feeding thing. Now we're in the living room. That's it, tour's over. This is the only room that's like finished. This is our, our gaming setup. Because like I said in the old house, this, Julian didn't have a gaming desk, we just had the podcast table and we would podcast from there and then move the monitors and then we would game at there at night and mine would be like real close off to the side so it was just like it was a lot in a small space so now we have like a proper sort of gaming setup so we can come and game and stream and have a good time this is the first room we finished prioritizing yeah we real good prioritize so this is my favorite place ever because we have Backyard in a pool. I don't know, there's not much to say. When I come out here, I just want to cry. So it's like the best thing in the whole world. And everything's all fenced in, so the dogs can't get out. It's not like right up against the street where dogs walk by, so they can't just sit there and bark at them all the time. We actually, we haven't used the pool yet because we need someone to come and show us how, how to, to use, use it. it. Because I am that person that if I flip the switch, I will break the whole pool. Guy comes to show how to use the pool, gets in his swim trunks, jumps in. This is how you use it. <laughs> I'll take you upstairs. They're cleaning it up there. I'm sorry for the noise. Oh. Oh. The, the guest room, which is doubling as our Christmas storage. Um, yes, we did take our Christmas tree down finally, but we were kind of waiting like if we move, we'll just take it down there. So they're cleaning right now, but over there is where we're going to have all of our gym equipment and the podcast room, which is on a separate room. So we have this rug here that's going in there. It's the second one we got. The first one was way too big. <laughs> but this is the master. We have a fireplace in the master. Like, we're, right now we're in my closet. No. Oh, I remember that shirt. <laughs> like, if I was a fancy person, like when I saw this, I was like, this is so fancy. But like, look what I've put in this beautiful cabinet. You know, like a fancy lady of sophistication that have like beautiful stuff in there. No, there's a stuffed animal backpack and a hat that says sexy from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. <laughs> along with um, tiny, small stuffed animals. from. I Japan. like how that shirt gets its own entire rack. I mean, it's going to stay That's like how that. it should stay, for well, sure. Well, here's how I figured this, okay? This is the casual side of the closet, and then this is the dressy side of the closet. Hmm. Look at all of my jewelry. Well, you got a jewelry thing. Yeah, but like... <laughs> you got two things. As you can tell, I'm a lady of sophistication. <laughs> we had already put an offer on the house. They had accepted the offer. So, like, we hadn't closed yet, but, like, we were here doing stuff. And there's these iPads, like, we still have to figure out how to do all this, like, a lot of it needs to get set up, like, we can't do it. Um, but I was like, gee, I wonder if there's any pictures on here. So I went to the photos, didn't see anything, so I was like, ooh, I should take a picture. I, the, like, we hadn't closed yet, like, it's not officially our house, but I was like, I'm just gonna take a picture. 
911, yes, hello. I mean, it was April 9th, I took that picture. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that, hopefully. Forever. <laughs> this is Julian's closet. Those are all my geese. <laughs> So this was when the house was staged. It's really nice furniture in here, it was staged, but this was the only thing that I was like, we have to have that, like it's part of the bathroom. Can't, can't not have it, it's so great. Look it's at good it. mirror. All the times when you're naked and you're like, oh my God, I don't want to see myself. No, you just have to. Separate, we're gonna have a spot to do my makeup. It's gonna be so amazing. But yeah, that's basically our house. Nice tour. <laughs> no, it's I mean, awesome. We'll show you more in the future as we get stuff, but we'll show you the dungeon next time. What the fuck, dude? What? Tisha, was I not supposed to tell about the dungeon? <laughs> it's our home. I'm really happy. I'm really excited. I'm terrified. Sorry, we haven't moved in yet. Can't do like a beautiful house tour. I hope uh, I'm essentially like taking a week off right now. So I hope you're okay with that because we still have a lot of stuff to do and move. We feel very fortunate. Thank you for supporting us. It finally feels like all of my saving has paid off. It's our house, so. Hope you like it. And if you hate it, that's fine. Too. I mean, you don't, have to <laughs> you don't live here. Make <laughs> sure you subscribe to my channel. I put on every server Wednesday slash Thursday. I apologize that this isn't like a, a regular video. This is like a, this is real life. Every once in a while, you gotta, you gotta move because you bought a house and it's really exciting. Congrats. You congrats. You congrats. You congrats. See you guys next week for Julian's Dungeon Hour. No. Bye. <laughs> Subscribe! Subscribe! <laughs> <laughs> what?